everyone, Neko Girl here, and today I'm going to be reacting to the hate comments I got on my TikTok for posting about my deceased pit bull. In case some of you didn't know, my pit bull was murdered by my next door neighbor because he's hated her for four years because he's precious gets pit bulls. And the police did get involved in case some of you didn't know, and they're still investigating. Alright, let's get into it. In my TikTok videos, I made um, a video about the guy murdering Pitbull where I put murder in a newspaper bag and I throw it on his lawn. I'm pooping off his house. Some people thought it was immature, but I had fun doing it. And I also made a video about Tiny, about her GoFundMe. So this Karen here is saying, So your dog was likely out and off leash and acting aggressive towards your neighbor. Yeah, I'm on his side. Yeah, bitch, she wasn't acting aggressive. And then she comments on the video about Tiny's GoFundMe saying, I thought the dog was dead. Yeah, like, um, you're just assuming that I'm trying to scam people. Like, she didn't bother to go back and look at the videos. It's just really shameful of someone like her hearing her say this. It's just so shameful to hear someone like her saying that. I mean, when she's a dog owner herself, like, lady, seriously, how would you feel if someone shot and killed your dog and took the shooter's side and try to assume that you're a car owner for trying to raise money for um, the debt of your dog's death? And here we have another Karen. She would be lucky not to get a hefty fine for a dog at large. This has been going on for four years. Unacceptable. She has no recourse, as she calls it. She let him run loose and torment her neighbors for four years. I can't believe she's on here begging after her negligence caused this. Your negligence as an owner caused this. Pits account for over half of all attacks. The other half is every breed combined. Those are facts. Okay, um, my dog never attacked anyone, and I have no idea what pit, those other pits attacking has to do with her getting shot and killed. And she, I tore, let her torment my neighbor for four years? No, it's been the other way around. My neighbor has been an asshole to her for four years. He once even sprayed her with a hose when she was in, when he was watering his, um, backyard, and she was in our backyard, you know, behind the gate, just barking. Oh my goodness, cannot believe people just... Jumped conclusions like that, and I hope you don't own any pets. But you are the one to blame. Keep your dog in your yard. He ugly did nothing wrong. Your dog tried to attack him. Oh my god, people still don't know the full story. Just jumped to conclusions. It's so annoying. And here she goes again. Actually, you should have picked up yourself instead. If you kept your dog in your yard, not allowed it to run free, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, the second comment was from the video I posted showing my next door neighbor's face reveal i mean i don't care how mature that is if you murder an animal that's unforgivable that's irredeemable like because once you kill something you can't take that back so yeah i'm gonna expose the living hell out of them they deserve it people who do that shit are not good people so yeah they deserve to be exposed i don't care if it's immature yeah tough talk coming from a private account i swear to god it's always the private accounts that talk the most shit because you know it's easy for them they're freaking cowards. Here we have some other smart people jumping to conclusions and just assuming stuff. The pit bull was probably attacking him. It might have been in self defense. It says, It's their fault you didn't control your animal. Think you might be the terrible neighbor? No, nope, class, I'm not. No friends, but you knew that your neighbor hated your dog. Would you still decide to let your dog be loose? So it's sort of your fault. Okay, uh, maybe since you are too lazy to listen to my videos, the utility workers working in our backyard left the gate wide open. I let her out in the backyard to do her business, and she got out, and he found a gold opportunity to shoot and kill her. And I remember the first comment is, um, Muslim. So you're a stereotyping pit bull. Okay, so if a Muslim person got their ass beat, and I say something like, they're Muslim, they're probably trying to plant a bomb or something. Yeah, how would that make you feel? I mean, come on. You're a minority who gets stereotyped. I don't know why you would say something like that. And here's more saying, Lou, your fault for letting your dog run loose. Sounds like the dog was on their property, which then is your fault for not controlling your dog. Sounds like you didn't teach your dog well. Why don't you tell the contacts? I did. Don't care, didn't ask, plus your white. What was I gonna do with anything? I'm half white, by the way. And all of them saying I didn't teach my dog well. Well, I'm not sure to my horns, but she was well trained, never attacked no one. She was just jumping and playing around. It's just these sick people who just stereotyped her and thought of her as dangerous, all because she's a pit bull. I mean, come on, would y'all be saying these exact same things as this was a golden retriever? Didn't think so. 
This comment is just so full of hate. It says, Rest in piss, Tiny. Laugh my fucking ass off. It seems like your beloved pit got loose and tried to attack him. Next time, take care of your dog or just don't own one of those gremlins at all. Okay, the only piece of gremlin here is you. And, um, when I showed off this comment in, um, one of my TikTok videos showing all the hate I got, people were saying, like, that's a pagan symbol, and this person is a disgrace to the pagan Nordic culture. Okay, I don't know too much about pagans, but I follow some of them on TikTok, and I don't ever see any of them talk like this. So you're a disgrace to religion, and I would say the same thing if I heard or saw a Christian talking like this. And here we have this asshole saying, if your dead dog came near me, I would kill it. They can kill without hesitation. What was the... Situa someone asked me what was the situation leading up to my dog being killed and someone's saying the neighbor shot poor Tiny which is true and then he lies and says the mud attacked him which he didn't because you're not smart enough to learn the full story here's more people stereotype saying the pitbull deserve it Des the pitbull deserved it yeah it's so nice thing to say about a dog pits are violent so it might have attacked him pitbulls are fucking vicious it's a pitbull so it's close to euthanize them See, this is just disgusting. They're just stereotyping on a pit bull they never knew. All because she's a pit bull. Where's your pit bull? Oh, yeah. Goodness gracious, where's your English and grammar? Oh, yeah. Good, fuck pit bulls. Good for the neighbor. He probably killed it for a reason. Yeah, because he was stereotyping on pit bulls. He hated for four years. Yeah, that's the reason. And fuck pit bulls? Boy, fuck you. Okay, and all these is from my video where I'm flipping off the dude's house. Yep, don't sue, don't call the cops. Um, the cops are involved, stupid. So what is supposed to do if the dog bites him and bites him until he dies? Well, that's the thing. She didn't bite him. Call the police, X. Make a TikTok check. I actually put both check marks because both police are involved. You're just not smart enough to look at the other videos. The middle, the middle finger is so childish, bro. Left my fucking ass off. Oh yeah, like killing someone else's dog is so mature and adult-like. I think flipping someone off is more mature than killing someone's pet, am I right? You should maybe use your money to buy a leash. Could maybe avoid the situation next time. Wow. And then someone who says, Sue the motherfucker taking the core. And this idiot responds, She can, the dog was at large. Well, good riddance. Well, my dog was at large for you, what? Barking and running around. And I'm not getting another money. My sister made to go find me, not me. So maybe you do proper research, look at my other videos, and learn the full story for jumping to the conclusion. Wow. God, this person is a total dumbass. This is the fishiest thing ever. A dude wouldn't just randomly shoot a dog. You must let it attack him. You're trying to scam people now too? And then he says, clearly he wouldn't have done anything if your dog didn't attack. Save the whole story. Okay, I did, stupid ass. Like I said, some of these people are just too stupid and lazy to learn the full story when I posted previous videos about on my TikTok. And how am I trying to scam people? Like, like when you go to a hospital or take your dog to an animal hospital, they aren't free. Even if the person or animal dies, yeah, you still have to pay funds. It's not free. Learn something, stupid ass. It's not their fault that you let your dumbass dog to on their property. Um, I didn't let him on their property. Hey, grief. Still don't look at previous photos and do research, do you? Oh, and I see you're an animal lover yourself. Hmm, so you have a horse. So if your horse got out by accident and someone shot and killed it, and then someone says, It's your fault for letting your dumb horse out. Yeah, how would that make you feel, sweetheart? Someone asked, Did you talk to the guy or call the police? Because that's straight up a murderer and that's bad. And this know-it-all says, Guarantee she did. But the cop obviously found the shooter was in the right. Now she's trying to make a bad image of him all in like an adult. And someone replies, Because he is bad, which is true. I mean, seriously, you think shooting someone's pet is adult-like? Come on now. And then reply, I almost shot my neighbor's dog the other day. Their dog's about to jump over my fence and attack my dogs. None of us know the story with her dog. Yeah, that's because you don't bother to go look at my previous And then they say, if that's your reason, you're definitely a child that can't grow up. Because he is bad. And to make it worse, the creator liked the comment. Children! Yeah, I like the comment because it's true. Oh, I see you're an animal of yourself. Um, oh wait, you have dogs? Oh, you made a video of your dogs, hmm? And your video, it's a dog humping the ground, and the other one just sniffing his balls. Oh yeah, that's a really adult thing to be posting, and it's so shameful you 
assume I'm in the wrong way. You have dogged yourself. I mean, come on now. What would you do if someone shot and killed them and then someone assumes you're in the wrong? I mean, losing a dog to murder is so devastating. I would not wish I was enemy, and I hope it doesn't happen to your dogs. But if it does, you're going to really, really regret what you said about mine. All right, everyone. That's it for reading the hate comments of Neko Girl Reacts. And also in other comments that we some people saying that I was being immature, like saying, oh yeah, like throwing that message to his show is going to do anything. Okay, I don't care. That's how I was going to do anything and I wasn't clipping off his yard to be mature. Like, seriously. So like, you're more worried about a middle finger than the life and death of an innocent animal? Okay. And... Yeah, I'll just, in that video where I'm flipping off his yard, I'm just expressing how I feel. And then also, like I said, someone who kills someone's pet, you know, intentionally, they deserve to be exposed and they're not a good person. I mean, there are some people who do ask questions first instead of just jump to conclusions like some idiots like in these, those comments I just showed. I mean, I really do appreciate that. I mean, it's okay to be doubtful when you hear about a certain situation. It's okay to ask questions first, but to just jump to conclusions and, you know, just pick a side. That's not okay. I mean, I told my side of the story. I opened up about it. Some people are just too stupid to listen and too lazy to look at my TikTok videos. And I really hope some of those hateful, disgusting, ugly, close-minded people don't own any pets. They did, and they got shot and killed. Well... They would be thanked a lot differently now, would they? Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. Hope we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Hugs and kisses.